Aloha everyone, I'm Susan Nutterwitz with Let'sFeelExcellent.com or the YouTube channel by the same name. I talk to a lot of people and I've noticed over the years that some people um, think, well, if I have pain in my neck, it's only in my neck and the neck is the only place where I have pain. And this is this is common, a common belief about pain in any area of the body, the low back or the feet or uh, a headache or wherever it is. But the neck, it's, it's very common. People think, well, I have a problem where the pain is only. Now, in terms of the neck, this is such a disbelief that it's not even funny because the neck is a catch-all for everything. It's um, the bridge between your heart and your brain, and it's a very important piece, and yes, it, it's a small area, but to say that would mean you didn't do anything in your life with your hands or your eyes, and even if you don't have hands or arms, um, or eyes, there's this reaching forward to stimuli. Our whole world is out in front of us and what happens is different causes provides the effect of the neck becoming strained. So even sit-ups can cause a neck disorder. We think we're getting the six, the six pack and we may achieve the six pack, but it probably comes a lot harder than doing um, abdominal exercises that actually strengthen the core and strengthen the torso um, and do not strain the neck. A lot of sit-ups strain the neck. But there's other things that can cause uh, neck issues. Like you can't have a shoulder issue without a neck issue and vice versa. You can't have a neck issue without having a shoulder issue. They're connected. You can't have a low back issue without having a neck issue. Uh, it's all connected and what happens is the um, structures in the neck, the fascia, the wrappings around the um, the muscles and the ligaments and the, all the tissues there, your organ of support, that's what the fascia is, becomes dried out because it's being pulled in all these different directions. So when the uh, cytokines release their chemicals to uh, tell the uh, brain that there's inflammation or when the uh, Gogi tendon organs r release the message that, hey, these, these, um, these tissues are actually so brittle and so dried out that they're going to break now. When that happens, then you experience the pain in that area, but it's not necessarily due to that area. And just because you have pain in that area doesn't mean that uh, an acupuncture is an acupuncturist is going to put needles in that area to relieve the issue. It doesn't mean a chiropractor is going to necessarily just work on the neck to relieve that issue. It doesn't mean uh, a massage therapist or a body worker is only going to work on that area to relieve that uh, tension in the neck. Sometimes it has to be relieved from below or above or, you know, we have to find out where it's from. Now you can have a neck, a neck pain or lack of range of motion or stiffness due to a lot of different things. And what I will say is anywhere you have a pain or lack of range of motion or stiffness in your body that occurs on more than one, one, one account or if it limits you from what you want to do in your life, it actually stops you then you have a problem in other areas of the body as well. There's other tissues that are being dried out, dehydrated, or they're not getting their nutrition, or there's an overabundance of 
uh, trash or debris that needs to be cleared out of those areas. And they need to be balanced in a way that they support gravity and that they support you in your daily functions. Your body needs to be functional for you. So what kinds of things can cause uh, neck discomfort? Okay, so I'm just checking my notes here. Now we already talked about other imbalances in the body that can happen. Um, like a rib, your rib cage could be shifted to one side. You can have rotations in the spine. This is so common that I've not seen anyone not have these, these things. Even babies have these kinds of things. And these things can eventually pull on the neck and then the neck becomes the weak link and that's where you feel this dis comfort. You're going to feel the discomfort wherever your weak link is. So you could have um, too much tension in the head area, the wrappings around the brain, the wrappings between the skull and the brain, the uh, wrappings around the skull and the muscles, the muscle tissue around the skull can be tense and they can pull on the brain. They can send chemical messages to the structures in the, in the neck and it can hurt the neck. Sometimes people come to me and they say they have a, a migraine headache or a headache and so and they say to me I only want you to work in that area. So I assume it's in their head since they haven't told me any anything else and I've already asked them well do you feel any discomfort anywhere else in your body and then when I'm working on them they'll open their eyes and they'll talk and they'll say actually my headache is in my neck and I don't know if they've just realized that or that's what they realize but I, I wouldn't call um, a headache in the neck a headache I think I would call it neck pain but um, sometimes that happens so it can come from above and it can come from the shoulder like we mentioned it can come from movements with your hands it can come from emotional uh, emotional components that are in your um, in the torture of your body like the upper back or the head again or in the jaw in the neck area itself um, when you have tension or you're under stress you tend to not breathe as deeply and when you have misalignments in the torso or when uh, your your rib cage cannot expand you know this thing the rib cage when it cannot expand or when people are not getting a full breath which most people I notice are not then that can cause issues in the neck because the circulation can't get up there and uh, the circulation of the blood and the lymph cannot get into those tissues, into the fascia, into the organ of support and clear it out. What else could happen? Um, your organs, just from use, can get big, like the, the liver can become inflamed, um, they can become enlarged, and also your digestive organs can become enlarged. So if you think about it, then these organs, if they're going to become enlarged or if they're going to become sluggish in any way, they're going to be heavier because they're going to have more water in them. So they're going to become heavier. They can pull on, they can pull down, they pull down um, via gravity and then they pull right on the neck or they can pull on one side and then you have an imbalance here and then this side on the back has to become a break. And so that muscle gets really tired and you feel it on, on that side. So the organs can um, come into play here as well. The pleura, from having mucus buildup in the lungs or congestion in the lungs, colds and flu, the lining around the lungs as well as the lining around the heart, you know, the lining around the heart can also do this, can become sticky and gluey in parts. 
they can have a little catch and they can uh, catch on the tissue and again pull they pull down and then you have this you go to do your regular movements in life with the strain pulling and um, you get a, a catch there as well let me check my notes and see what what else yeah that's that's pretty much it so what can we do about it you know almost everybody has uh, a neck issue of some sort so get your neck assessed send me pictures of your whole body your posture and I can assess them and I could do an assessment right over Skype and give you uh, leverage movement therapy that is very effective in keeping your neck very supple and um, free of pain and lack of range of motion You've seen these people that can't back out of a parking space because they have to turn their whole body because they can't turn their, their neck anymore. You know, when that freezes up, they're going to start to have maybe shoulder impingements or headaches or uh, low back pain or even plantar fasciitis sometimes. So, um, and they could cause a car accident too if you can't really turn your, your head. Um, but it's very, very, very easy to remedy and we could do it right over Skype. So I hope this is helpful to you. Please give me a thumbs up if it was and share it with anybody else that you know out there that's suffering from uh, neck discomfort. I thank you very much and I wish you an excellent day. Aloha.